Parathyroid cancer. Definition. Parathyroid cancer is a rare disease in which malignant cancer cells form in the tissues of a parathyroid gland. Risk factors. Risk factors for parathyroid cancer include the following rare disorders that are inherited, passed down from parent to child. Familial isolated hyperparathyroidism, FIHP. Multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1, MEN1, syndrome. Treatment with radiation therapy may increase the risk of developing a parathyroid adenoma. Signs and symptoms. Most parathyroid cancer signs and symptoms are caused by the hypercalcemia that develops. Signs and symptoms of hypercalcemia include the following. Weakness. Feeling very tired. Nausea and wanting. Loss of appetite. Weight loss for no known reason. Being much more thirsty than usual. Urinating much more than usual. Constipation. Trouble thinking clearly. Other signs and symptoms of parathyroid cancer include the following. Pain in the abdomen, side, or back that doesn't go away. Pain in the bones. A broken bone. A lump in the neck. Change in voice such as hoarseness. Trouble swallowing. Diagnostic evaluation. The following tests and procedures may be used. Physical exam and history an exam of the body to check general signs of health, including checking for signs of disease, such as lumps or anything else that seems unusual. A history of the patient's health habits and past illnesses and treatments will also be taken. Blood chemistry studies, a procedure in which a blood sample is checked to measure the amounts of certain substances released into the blood by organs and tissues in the body. An unusual, higher or lower than normal, Amount of a substance can be a sign of disease. To diagnose parathyroid cancer, the sample of blood is checked for its calcium level. Parathyroid hormone test, a procedure in which a blood sample is checked to measure the amount of parathyroid hormone released into the blood by the parathyroid glands. A higher than normal amount of parathyroid hormone can be a sign of disease. Cestamibi scan a type of radionuclide scan used to find an overactive parathyroid gland. A very small amount of a radioactive substance called technetium-99 is injected into a vein and travels through the bloodstream to the parathyroid gland. The radioactive substance will collect in the overactive gland and show up brightly on a special camera that detects radioactivity. CT scan, CAT scan a procedure that makes a series of detailed pictures of areas inside the body taken from different angles. The pictures are made by a computer linked to an X-ray machine. A dye may be injected into a vein or swallowed to help the organs or tissues show up more clearly. This procedure is also called computed tomography, computerized tomography, or computerized axial tomography. SPECT scan, single photon emission computed tomography scan a procedure to find malignant tumor cells in the neck. A small amount of a radioactive substance is injected into a vein or inhaled through the nose. As the substance travels through the blood, a camera rotates around the body and takes pictures of the neck. A computer uses the pictures to make a three-dimensional, 3-D, image of the neck. There will be increased blood flow and more activity in areas where cancer cells are growing. These areas will show up brighter in the picture. Ultrasound exam a procedure in which high-energy sound waves, ultrasound, are bounced off internal tissues or organs and make echoes. The echoes form a picture of body tissues called a sonogram. Angiogram, a procedure to look at blood vessels and the flow of blood. A contrast dye is injected into the blood vessel. As the contrast dye moves through the blood vessel, X-rays are taken to see if there are any blockages. Venous sampling, a procedure in which a sample of blood is taken from specific veins and checked to measure the amounts of certain substances released into the blood by nearby organs and tissues. If imaging tests do not show which parathyroid gland is overactive, blood samples may be taken from veins near each parathyroid gland to find which one is making too much PTH. Management Four types of standard treatment are used. Surgery Radiation therapy chemotherapy, supportive care, 
Surgery. Surgery, removing the cancer in an operation, is the most common treatment for parathyroid cancer that is in the parathyroid glands or has spread to other parts of the body. Because parathyroid cancer grows very slowly, cancer that has spread to other parts of the body may be removed by surgery in order to cure the patient or control the effects of the disease for a long time. Before surgery, treatment is given to control hypercalcemia. The following surgical procedures may be used. End block resection, surgery to remove the entire parathyroid gland and the capsule around it. Sometimes lymph nodes, half of the thyroid gland on the same side of the body as the cancer, and muscles, tissues, and a nerve in the neck are also removed. Tumor debulking, a surgical procedure in which as much of the tumor as possible is removed. Some tumors cannot be completely removed. Metastasectomy, surgery to remove any cancer that has spread to distant organs such as the lung. Surgery for parathyroid cancer sometimes damages nerves of the vocal cords. There are treatments to help with speech problems caused by this nerve damage. Radiation therapy. Radiation therapy is a cancer treatment that uses high-energy x-rays or other types of radiation to kill cancer cells or keep them from growing. There are two types of radiation therapy. External radiation therapy uses a machine outside the body to send radiation toward the cancer. Internal radiation therapy uses a radioactive substance sealed in needles, seeds, wires, or catheters that are placed directly into or near the cancer. Chemotherapy Chemotherapy is a cancer treatment that uses drugs to stop the growth of cancer cells, either by killing the cells or by stopping them from dividing. When chemotherapy is taken by mouth or injected into a vein or muscle, the drugs enter the bloodstream and can reach cancer cells throughout the body. Systemic chemotherapy When chemotherapy is placed directly into the cerebrospinal fluid, an organ, or a body cavity such as the abdomen, the drugs mainly affect cancer cells in those areas. Regional chemotherapy The way the chemotherapy is given depends on the type and stage of the cancer being treated. Supportive care Supportive care is given to lessen the problems caused by the disease or its treatment. Supportive care for hypercalcemia caused by parathyroid cancer may include the following. Intravenous 4. Fluids Drugs that increase how much urine the body makes. Drugs that stop the body from absorbing calcium from the food we eat. Drugs that stop the parathyroid gland from making parathyroid hormone. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.